Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We got a few uh, updates on some of the snakes. I want to show you guys some of these beauties that have come out of sheds. We're going to start off with this boa right here, 2021 female VPI IMG. She's looking gorgeous. Love the uh, the colors on her tail going into her body. And I really like the, the belly. Love that pattern and the colors, the white and the blacks go together so well. And I'm not sure what she's going to look like as an adult, but she's gotten a little bit darker since I've had her. I really don't think she's going to go completely dark like most IMGs because she does have that VPI in her, which is kind of like an albino. But hopefully she stays kind of like this so we can see a lot of her patterns and the colorations because that would be a shame if, you know, all of that just disappeared because she looks phenomenal as of right now, but she's doing well. She's on wean rats. She could probably eat a small, but I really don't like to overfeed the boas too much just because they'll get big in their own in their own time, and I don't like pumping them full of food and getting them super fatty, but this girl is big enough already for 2021, but looking phenomenal. And since we're looking at the, the IMG, might as well look at the other one. So. This girl's getting big. This girl's getting really dark. So a lot darker since when I first got her, but you can still see a lot of really cool patterns on her. And of course, this IMG has the nice looking belly, the black and white as well. And so this is the, obviously an IMG, Motley, Jungle, Hypo, and 100% head for snow, which is really awesome because I do have a male snow. And in the future, if I ever want to risk it and breed, then they will go together. But as of right now, I'm really not looking into breeding any of the boas. I kind of did when I first started it, but these snakes are phenomenal. They look really nice and I don't want to risk them because I see a lot of people having slugs, females die, a lot of negativity going around. But of course, there's a lot of positive or else nobody would be breeding them. But I don't know if I want to take the risk with these girls because they just look really, really nice and they're good pets. So I really like the markings on her face as well. And if you guys can see that like above her jawline, it uh, looks really, really cool. But probably one of my favorite boats right here. Although I do have a lot of favorites depending on the time of day and who is out. So let's not discredit any of the other boas. But this girl is phenomenal and getting a lot. I would say I got a lot of color, but she's actually losing a lot of color. But she's just getting... Uh, really really dark which is you know what they're supposed to do with the IMG stuff but I do I hope she doesn't go all black because I would not like this because I like to see the patterns I wouldn't want that to all wash away but we'll see how that plays out so we'll put her back and so somebody asked me on, on a on one of my other videos what happens to the bows am I gonna keep the bows in the in these racks their entire life and the answer is no. So they're in here for now and they're comfortable in here at the size they are. Once they outgrow these tubs, I will put them all in PVC enclosures. Uh, so they're not going to be in here. It's crammed in here their entire lives. So I want to show you guys a couple other snakes that have shed out. And it's becoming winter time. I hate winter time because it throws off the entire humidity in the room throws off the humidity in the, the rack systems. So some of these snakes have really bad shed. I try to spray it, it down with the Repti chip, but sometimes it's just not enough, so they have bad sheds. So I probably will soak her in a little bit and just to get some of the shed off of her neck, but this is a female banana clown. A lot of color on her, a lot of pattern on her. She's a 2021 growing up extremely fast, eating very well. And I've been very impressed with how these ball pythons have been eating. So you guys know I got a bunch of new snakes and they've all eaten, every single one of them, even the two that I got last week, no problem. And on top of that, which is exciting, they're all on rats. So I have no ball pythons that are stuck on mice, African soft turfers, um, they're all strictly on regular rats, which is phenomenal. It's a lot less stress for me, which means they can grow and uh, get big quickly. So, very excited for her. I'm not really, I do like the banana stuff, but they weren't really like at the top of the list. But then when John had, uh, John Chosmer had a female, which he has more of, I was like, I gotta get one of those because the females are special. So they produce more females. And if they do produce the males, those males can produce the females. So pretty cool. So that kind of piqued my interest, a little unique. And I was like, I gotta have one of those. So got her. 
Not sure where I'm going to pair to her. I uh, got a, quite a few nice males, but I do need more males, and we can talk about that in a little bit. So let me put her back. Um, so did I show anything else in here? Probably not. So one other snake that's shed out, and I'm waiting on a, I'm waiting on another one to shed. So, but as of now, we can look at this one. This one looks really, really nice. So this is the female. This is a yellow belly, orange dream, and she pied. Very, very high white, or high in color, low white. Phenomenal colors, super bright orange. And I really don't think the camera's picking up how gorgeous the snake actually is. So I have her. I have the same genetics in a male. So we'll see what happens. I really don't want to make ivories. But now with the genetic testing, the ivories, you can make the ivories and then you'll know exactly what's in them. Although they don't look, you know, they don't look as pleasing. I do like the ivories. I have an, an ivory entry pie. It looks phenomenal. But if it had orange dream, yellow belly, and a whole bunch of other crazy stuff in there, then I probably wouldn't want it because you can't see it. But if you're a breeder and you know what's in it, then that helps out as well. So maybe the male of this can go to the banana, see what happens on that. But it would only be the bananas that come out of that pairing that would be the uh, the male female uh, portion of that where it gets a little confusing, complicated. <laughs> but anyways, this girl is phenomenal. The male looks just as good. They do have a little bit of a different pattern on them, so they don't look exactly the same. So that's why I need a solid, another solid male. It has to be Orange Dream, something pied. I'm really leaning into the possible possibility of a hurricane or just an orange dream leopard uh, pie. Although I already have one, so I really don't want to buy one. And I really hope this male can breed this year and give me one so I don't have to pay more money. So this is the orange dream leopard enchi, and you can tell how faded out uh, they get as they get to be adults. Now I don't know if yellow belly brings a lot of the color into it, but my goal is to have super orange dreams. So I really want to flood all the orange dream females with orange dream males just to see how that happens. But I do like the colors on him, even though he has faded out a lot. But really cool colors on the sides here. And really like the, the face pattern. But and she brings out a lot more of the pattern. And then the leopard brings out the bold colors, the bold stripes, which is really cool, which is what I love. I love the leopard stuff but we'll have to see what happens. Again, it would be nice if he breed. That way I don't have to keep buying more snakes because <laughs> they get expensive and we all know how that goes. So, so you guys, just a couple of the new stuff. I do want to show you guys. So I got a few fire stuff, um, but this girl is just phenomenal. I really want to show her to you guys. So it's 2021. She's almost at 800 grams. And she's just feeding phenomenal. And she's super healthy. So this is a fire and she yellow belly pied. And very excited for her for next year. Uh, again, I have a lot of yellow belly stuff. But I might put a mahogany pied to her. Or like I said, get a, or the, the uh, orange dream leopard just to add that into this. But you can see how that fire is really bringing out the bright colors on her. She's not really faded at all since I've gotten her. Maybe a little bit, but we all know ball pythons fade out and they look, can't, some of them can look really bad when they are like one years old and as they get older, they just fade out and they just look bad. So uh, adding the fire, the vanilla, I can't afford anything desert ghost. So that's, you know, a long ways off. And by the time I can afford those, uh, the pricing on those should come down in the next 10 years. But so I do have some fire stuff as 2022s so it'd be exciting to see how they pan out and how bright they stay on uh you know into the breeding and as they get into adulthood so we'll try to put her back and so that's just super exciting and another one this is the uh super fly clown so this does have the fire in it so i do have do i have three now three clowns that have fire I think I do. So 
This is Super Fly Clown, so it's the Super Pastel Fire and Clown, obviously. So it's got two copies of the Pastel. I don't know what I'm going to put with her, but maybe we'll uh, put some spot nose into her. Because I do have the spot nose vanilla, although vanilla and fire, uh, that's where that... Uh, mixing those two, uh, you wouldn't get, I wouldn't get any white snakes. I wouldn't get any normals either since they're on the same allele. But it would be tough to figure out which one's fire and which one's vanilla. So that's where the genetic testing would come in. Send in a couple sheds. That way I can sell them appropriately so people know what's going on. And, I, and spot nose and everything just looks phenomenal. So any spot nose and leopard into a lot of this stuff is going to be really the key to getting some solid babies. Um, this is the newest pickup from last week. He ate, no problems, wrap-ups. Like I said, everybody's on wrap-ups, so this is a leopard chocolate clown, the male. Phenomenal. Super bright, really nice bold markings on the sides. And of course, that chocolate's bleeding over phenomenally and I really really like the colorations and the markings on his head so it's just really really awesome and it's surprising me how bright some of these leopards are in the clowns so I put him back although he likes to try to escape and I don't want to squish him at the tub there we go so I do have another leopard clown with yellow belly and this boy is a year old so I'm very heavy on the males with uh, the clowns, which is probably not a good thing. But um, I do have a banana clown, which I love. I love the banana clown stuff, and I'm trying to breed that now. But I think on going into the future, I'm really wanting to incorporate uh, the leopard stuff and the chocolate stuff into basically everything. So there might be some stuff that the... And of course, when I get babies, I'm going to keep those. So it's not a total loss to have a lot of males. But uh, it's nice to have the options. But you can see how bright he is as well. Really nice head pattern. Nice markings down the top, the top of him. And then we can see the sides and the belly for the yellow belly. And just super bright. Really, really awesome. And I think adding more stuff into that would be phenomenal. The red stripe leopard, red stripe leopard chocolate clown that I have is... A lot of these snakes are have a lot of stuff in them. It's hard to get used to. So this girl right here should be shedding out tomorrow. So she doesn't look as good as what she will when she sheds, but you can definitely see not as bright, possibly from her being in the shed. You can see the leopard, the chocolate going into her, and then the red stripe pattern and coloration. But it seems to me like the red stripe's really toning down the colors on the leopard and the chocolate but that could just be me i don't know um that's just what i'm noticing with this red stripe added into it but we'll see what happens and then which was cool on that is because i do have the spot nose vanilla clown we'll try to add that we we'll get some dark knights or some chocolate batmans which would be phenomenal so one last snake we got a ton of stuff in here i don't want to take up too much of your time when I get that ARS rack, we'll go through an entire snake uh, collection updates. I have almost 60 snakes, so a lot. This is an Orange Dream Fire uh, clown. So again, more stuff with fire, which is good. Really awesome head stamp. Love the, the brightness and the colors on this one. Super white belly going up high white on the sides and then the and then right in here on these markings where they're kind of like the paint's dripping down on it. Super nice whites and browns going into that very nice orangey yellow look. Just a gorgeous snake. And I hope the fire keeps the coloration on that one. Because I would hate to see that snake or any of these snakes doll out to look super boring or ugly. And... Just as a comparison, this is a 2021 uh, Enchi Fire, almost 800 grams, and still looking really, really nice. Obviously not as bold as when she was when a baby, but still keeping a lot of these rich colors, and uh, like through the top here and then the sides, really nice belly on her as well, and really, really pretty head stamp. 
So that is it. A lot's going on in here. Uh, just trying to keep you guys on updates. And for the future breeding, I'm still pairing the males with the females. Hopefully we can get some locks, have nothing yet. But I heard it's still early and I really haven't done much and the temperature dropped in the room. It's still in the 80s. Might have to change that up uh, significantly here soon. But everybody's eating well, doing well. And that is it. So I appreciate the support from you guys. And if there's anything that you guys want to see, let me know. And on that, I'll see you guys on the next video.